Greetings and salutations. Welcome to my new Let's Play series of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets.、Um, a while back, I started a series of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which was、uh, the version on the PlayStation Two.、Um, that that series is not going to be finished for two reasons. Number one is the game just glitched out on me. It just, it quit itself halfway through, and I have no way of getting past it.、Uh, the second reason. Which is probably is the more important reason is that I I just wasn't having fun with it anymore. The, the gameplay was really repetitive and boring.、Um, there were a lot of things I did not like about that game. I did like that it had more cutscenes than PC version, but、um, anyway,、uh, I I think I uploaded about three episodes of Philosopher's Stone. I could potentially make more of those. I recorded more than I have uploaded, but. I think I'm just gonna let it end there and just just start something that we probably can finish this time.、Uh, I I make no guarantees not because I don't want to finish this game, but I, I just have no confidence over its performance on a modern system anymore. The game is not being updated anymore. It's not being supported anymore. So I have no idea how it's gonna perform. I don't know if it's gonna glitch out at the first second. I have no idea if I'm even going to milk one episode out of this. So there's a lot of unknown about this.、Uh, what I do. Well, the different thing is this time we're going to be playing the PC version, and I am in fact pretty familiar with this game. I played it a bunch when I was a kid, but not much since then. So I don't know what to, how much I'm supposed to be surprised by this. But yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into this one too.、Uh, and I do have a lot of fond memories of this game, so we'll see. We'll just have to see. Hey, title screen. So it's working so far. Harry Potter lived at Number Four Privet Drive with his horrible uncle and aunt and their hateful son Dudley. Harry was often locked in his room, and even though he is a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic when he was away from school. One evening, a house elf. Why is he wearing the school robes at home, though? Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, damn, Dobby, you ugly. In mortal danger. Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Harry's best friend Ron Weasley and his brothers Fred and George arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. They flew him to their home, the Burrow, where Harry spent the rest of the summer before traveling by flu powder to Diagon Alley. Oh, he made a stop at a Nocturne、Harry、Alley, but we're not going to talk about that. And went with her to Flourish and Blots, where the famous wizard author Gilderoy Lockhart was signing his latest book. Great Scott, is that? No, surely not. It is. It's Harry Potter. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that I will be taking up the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts.、Oh. Um. Yay! Is that a good thing? Probably、But、not. You love that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter, you've got yourself a girlfriend. So whatever, so whatever I have. Hungry for a. Do you have a girlfriend, Malfoy? Books you're going to need at Hogwarts. It's the least. Do you want a boyfriend to help out the poor and needy? <laughs> He just stuffed a book in her cauldron like that. Wow, Mr. Malfoy, that was most subtle. That was not suspicious at all. Harry, we've missed the train. The Hogwarts Express left five minutes ago. Oh no! What oh no! We we're、do? total dumbasses. Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charing Cross Road. Your dad okay, doesn't take. Only chance of getting to school on time. I seriously doubt that's true, but hey, here we go. Flying car. Why not? Being sure to check that no one was watching, Ron and Harry took off in the old Ford Anglia. Now all we've got to worry about are airplanes. 
I can't see anything in here. Phew, that was close. I think we're almost there. Uh-oh, I think the car's cutting out. Come on, car. Come on! Okay, car doomed. Stop! 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 Well, game over, guys. This has been a fun game. Uh, oh, he's alive. Well, Ron's probably dead. Ron! Ron, where are you? Over here, Harry! The Whomping Willow's got me! Don't worry, Ron. I'll come and get you. <coughs> Just hold on. I can't do anything else. Hurry up, Harry! Yay, gameplay. So Ron is just hanging in there and we gotta get our best friend out of there. I haven't played this game for so long, but this is all coming back to me. Yeah, I knew that. See how easy this is? Uh, I mean, this one is particularly... I can use this there's a lot of exposition at the first part of this game. Obviously, there's a lot of tutorial. This is a save book. Walk into them to save the current state of your game. No shit. When you faint, your game will automatically revert to the point where and when you last touched a save book. <laughs> Dude, I, I know what it's I know what a saving game means. Okay, I, I have played video games before. So there, there are a few spells that Harry can just use right from the beginning. He doesn't have to relearn them. There's virtually no difficulty in this. His, oh God damn it! I was gonna. Sure thing. Hey, come here, come here, come, come here. Can open up magically locked objects such as chests and secret doors. Okay, so hopefully this time I cast a spell, it's not gonna be a cutscene. Yeah, this is how a chest is usually open in this game, and I'll compare that with the PS2 version of Philosopher's Stone. You see why I much prefer this one. It's, it's just no fuss. It doesn't cut into the cutscene, it doesn't have a automatic animation for five seconds. Uh, I think I see a sensitive spot right there. <laughs> I see it. Yes, I see the sensitive spot too. We're gonna touch the tree sensitive spot and get it all sensitive. Um. I think the cars get get it. The cars got it easy. Compared to the movies and books, be happy that I lost his flying car. your dad doesn't give a shit, man. Anyway, we better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. Not only does Lumos how do you get up there? It also reveals magically hidden things. Cool puzzle elements. To jump, run to the ledge and press the right mouse button. Try collecting the beans on all the ledges, Harry. Um, again, how do you how do you get oh, whatever? Okay. Those are Bertie Bot's every flavor beans. I should collect as many as I can. They'll come in handy later. <sighs> okay, immediately two other things that I prefer in this version Harry, over the last you need one. To get onto this ledge over here. It's not an automatic jumping. I, I control when I jump, where I jump, how I jump, which is, is so much better. You th to push yes, I know to that, Ron. Everybody assumes that Harry's an idiot. I guess he kind of is, but still, don't make it so obvious, man. Make me feel like I'm accomplishing things. How about that, Ron? Can you do that with your broken wand? Alohomora. 
I remember this secret. It's kind of obvious. See how convenient it is to collect beans from a chest this time around? This is a bronze wizard card. There are 50 of these scattered throughout Hogwarts. Each time you collect 10 bronze cards, you're given a permanent stamina increase. Pressing the escape key will allow you to access the Folio Magi and look at the wizard cards you've collected thus far. Okay. Um, let's see that then. What have what I got? Hesper Starkey, which will start the use of phases of the moon in potion making. Uh, we can get some beans out of these. Out of these uh, suits of armor. Actually, two sets from each. <sighs> It's so much easier to collect beans. Plus, it's a super plus that Harry does not yell out the flavor of these beans each time he collects one. He doesn't go all around yelling spinach, chocolate, booger. Like a bloody idiot. Hey, Hogwarts, I'm back. Your master has returned. The rain has stopped. At least we'll be dry when we get expelled. Come on. We'd better get up to the school. To get expelled? Sure. So, we're at Hogwarts ground now. Oh yeah, look at the stars. Uh, I think I remember this thing. Yeah. Any more? Okay. Don't get greedy, Harry. Jeez. It feels so good to cast spells in this game. But I think it's not really like uh, there's My anything. Sp one didn't get lost. <laughs> You're the one getting lost, Harry. Uh, it's not really that it, it, this is just a, st a stellar example of video game control. It's just I've. Uh, my memory of the last game, Harry Potter game that I played, is still is a little bit daunting for me. Um, can't get out that way. Nope, you can't. We're gonna be learning us to spell to cut these vines, obviously. And there's a wizard card up there. So this spell is was also in the Philosopher's Stone game. We are going to need to jump it's up a nice there. Night now the rain We're just gonna get a preview of some of these secrets. And get some beans. Explore a little bit. That's how I like to play my Harry Potter games. Just explore. The first thing you do is to <clears throat> run around in the castle, explore every nook and cranny that you you have access to at this point. Things are gonna open up gradually as you learn more spells. That's usually how it goes. And there's another chest up here. Don't you just love it when you can start the game and already ex do something? It's like. Not in the Philosopher's Stone game. I mean, that's understandable because that was Harry's first year. He, he didn't know jack shit at that point. But, like, he, it's nice to just... Uh, what's wrong? Gliding? And it, it's just nice to be able to use spells from the very beginning. The Gryffindor dormitory is just over here to the right. Remember? Nope. I do not remember such a thing. Do we have things I'm here? Of course we do. <laughs> Oh, it's coming back to me now. This is how I like to play when I was a kid. Just stand on the chest and let the beans come to you. Nice. Um, okay. That I believe is one of the challenge rooms, and this is something else. This is the house point ceremony chamber. Yeah, we're gonna need to learn to clean that green jelly thingy, but until then, I think we're just gonna steer clear of it. Every house is at zero at this point, but oh, I think Gryffindor should be like minus fifty or something, considering Harry and Ron just crashed landed on the Whomping Willow. Yay, secret. Um, this is not going to be a 100% playthrough, by the way. I'm not going to be able to 
find uh, uncover all of the secrets. But we're gonna get some while we're while we're here. <laughs> yeah, that is a cliched witch. Jeez, the laughter, man. It's very infectious. And we can't get the rest of them yet. Uh, the door is barred. Let's see, what other secrets do we have? <laughs> I, I still have a sore throat, so occasionally I have to clear my throat or cough. I hope you don't mind. Andrews the Invincible in Ancient Greek. Uh, what? what? Damn it. Punctuations, people. Ancient, uh, ancient Greek. Alleged to have been the only known way to produce a Patronus the size of a giant. Damn, that's impressive. By the way, Harry doesn't even know what a Patronus is at this point, does he? That only comes in the third year. The dormitory is up here, Harry. <clears throat> hey. Finally, there's the portrait of the pink lady. Isn't it supposed to be the fat lady? I thought you'd have the password. Why would I have the password? I guess Pink Lady is more co more it? polite. I've been with you since we got here. You're right. I bet I know who would have it. There you are. Hey then. Right on time. I heard the most incredible story about you two getting expelled over a flying car. Oh, Marnie, please. We're tired. Could you just tell us what the password is? Wattlebird. It's good to see you again, Harry. <laughs> Completely ignoring the other two. There you two are. Brilliant entrance. Got the year off with a bang. Mum's furious, by the way. You two should hear about the bean trading system we've set up. It's based on Bertie Bot's every flavor bean. I'm sorry, wasn't that already Mark set up the last several year? Of our associates have set up trading opportunities throughout Hogwarts. Some of us will occasionally have an item to trade. If you have enough beans, we'll trade with you. Where are we supposed to get all these beans? Everywhere. They're hidden all over the place. No, they're not really hidden. Them. You should have enough to start trading in no time. It will be a pleasure doing business with you, I'm sure. Many in the Harry Potter game world, the, the manufacturer of Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans must be going out of business. People are getting their product for free all over the place. Once inside the common room, Harry was greeted by the cheers of his fellow Gryffindors. Harry and Ron became Gryffindor heroes due to their little accident with the Wampin Willow. Harry slept well that night and looked forward to his first day at Hogwarts. I'm, I'm getting unreasonably excited to play this game again. Good morning, Harry. It's time for our Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson with Professor Lockhart. I just love his books. He's such a brilliant writer. Defense against the dark hearts on the third floor. Follow us. Yeah, sure. I'll follow you. Nope. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is turn back and explore the common room. We, we didn't really see any of it. There's the portrait of the Gryffindor common room. Hello there, young Potter. Heading for the common room, are we? Mm, as a matter of fact, I am. <clears throat> Um, okay, I, I didn't even give you the password, fat lady. You, you're, you're slipping. Do your job. Don't make exceptions for anyone. What's this one? Uh, the river troll in question was believed to be one of the largest ever to exist in Britain, having a weight of a ton. What does this have to do with this person? Is he a river troll? His name is, uh, I don't know, Sawbridge something. Oh, save the game. That the person up there, by the way, is none other than the shithead, commonly known as Percy Weasley. I don't want to hear any more rubbish about me having a secret girlfriend. Oh, you mean Penelope Clearwater? That's not a, no longer I a secret. I take being a prefect very seriously. Yes, we can all see that. Flying the car here was quite wrong, you know. I disagree, but we just have to agree to disagree. Um, yeah, that's the common room. It's 
kind of boring. I mean, it's nice. It's nicely decored, but... There's not much to do here. <clears throat> so instead of going to the third floor to head to the class right away, let's just explore a little bit more. I'm hoping that Hufflepuff wins the house cup this year. Mm, not a single chance, little girl. I'm calling her a little girl. I'm pulling out a 12-year-old. So I should say similarly aged girl. These are people you're going to trade with. They're just standing around all day playing around with their beans like there's nothing else to do in the world I don't even know if they go to classes <clears throat> so we're back here Harry, defense against the dark arts is up here wow Try you two are fast Harry. we'll get to see Gilderoy Lockhart in person I don't really look forward to that because besides I've already seen him and there's a ghost just casually floating to a wall hmm I, I see some of the pictures I recycled from the first game hi would you consider a trade not interested hey you stop ignoring me I'm the great Harry Potter you will you hello. shall acknowledge my presence hello did you get any new scars when you crashed into the tree oh I wish Hey, my scars are, are trying my patience, Potter. Hello. Our scars are like very valuable merchandise. And there's a silver card just floating there. Oh, look who it is. Hello, Harry. Oh, hello, Nick. <coughs> Even after all these years, I still find new secrets in Hogwarts. Really? Here's a special area that you can unlock only if you collect all 40 silver wizard cards. For every 10 silver wizard cards you collect, you'll get a key that will allow you to open one of the four locks on the door. See if you can find all 40 silver wizard cards hidden throughout Hogwarts and the grounds. Well, I'll certainly give it a try, Nick, boy. <laughs> but besides, why do you need to tell me all this? You can just float in there and see for yourself what's in there. Like, what, what does it even freaking matter for a ghost? Um, yeah, this is quite disappointing if it takes up an entire floor, isn't it? A lot of things are like coming back to me as I'm playing. This is like riding a bicycle. I played a shit ton uh, out of this game. I really liked it. At that time, I was kind of new to Harry Potter. It was like love, love on first sight, and I read the novels back to forth like 300 times, and I watched the movies a bunch of times. What's in here? Can can't get in these doors and oh, all of these doors are closed to us now. <coughs> Some of them I think are going to be very useful later on. By the way, the way I'm recording this, I I can't see myself in the camera, so I I don't really know how. If I'm in the frame or not, so I, I can only guess. I think this is the third floor. And so we're gonna go to the fourth floor first just to explore everything else. Oh shit. Hey. So even though I'm just uh, walking around collecting shit, I, I'm not too bored by this because things are still happening at a relatively fast pace. Damn. Can you imagine this sound resonating in the hospital? 
That's not the hospital you want to go to. So this is the hospital wing. It's kind of rare to see this place in a in a video game. We're gonna get all four of them. Oh! This one hell of a hospital. Hey, a silver card. What do I have? Uh, this is Queen Maeve, legendary witch who trained the young sorceress in Ireland prior to the establishment of Hogwarts School. That's impressive. Hey, Madam Pumphrey. Safety first, Harry. Safety first. Yeah, everyone keeps saying that. Don't touch the cabinets, Harry. There are some dangerous potions in there. I, I can't. I totally would. What did I just... Oh, look at that. <clears throat> Glover Hipworth, inventor of the pepper rub poison cure of the common cold. We're gonna trash Man and Palm for his personal stash. Got po uh, poison cartons all over the place. Can't use this right now. Yeah. Snape, you better do your job. I'm all right. Of course, I'm all right. Why would I be all right? So let's finally go to defense against the dark arts class, I guess. You remember where it is, don't you? Oh no! I'd better get out of here. Filch might be lurking nearby. He most certainly is. Well, well, well. I heard a crash, and what do I find? Mr. Harry Potter and a broken, irreplaceable antique vase. Argus Filch, the caretaker, was loathed by every student at Hogwarts. With good reason. Some thought his cat, Mrs. Norris, spied on students. Honestly, it, it just fell. <sighs> oh. Let me R.I.P. you. What was that? Hey, what are you talking about? I heard a voice. Hearing voices won't get you off. I'll mark this down against you. Now move along while I clean this up. What a grouchy old I man. must have been hearing things. Yeah, this is just the wind, Harry. Don't worry about it. Just totally not a foreshadowing. By the way, I'm gonna make your life harder by... By crashing more things. What do you say to that? More valuable school property. I said move hey, look. Why is there an ins inexplicable dent on a wall? Oh no. Gnomes. I know what to do with you. <laughs> it's just kind of... I'm basically doing all the same things in the first game. It's just I'm able to do them in a much more fun way. This is a very generous chest. Thank you. Uh, that's the classroom. No rush to get there. Um, can't do anything about this. Eat shit, Mr. Filch. The control is so smooth. Welcome to Defense Against the Dark Arts. My fame makes an introduction unnecessary, but I'll delight you with one anyway. I am Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, third class. Just third Honorary class. Member of the Dark Force Defense League, and five time winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. Ah, I see you've all bought a complete set of my books. Well done. Today, we shall be learning the Rictus Sempra spell. Rictus Sempra is very useful when stunning certain pesky creatures such as Cornish pixies. Who wants to be first? Harry Potter, will you step down here, please? Of course. Lucky. Not really. Clear your mind completely. But here's the thing. Harry. Don't even think about me. And concentrate 
on the symbol in front of you. See the wand? It's going to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, hit the corresponding arrow key. Oh, that's easy this enough. This exercise has three parts. You must hit all of the arrows correctly in order to progress to the next round. Ready to try? Round one, begin. Whoa. Oh, I thought it was actually the... It's asking me to use the actual arrow key, which is not used in, in the game. It's weird. Yeah, this is like really easy. I was gonna say, contrary to in the books and the movies, we're actually gonna learn shit in Guild Ride Lockhart's class. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Five points to Gryffindor. That's just round five points. Begin. Oh no, it's so much more difficult. I can barely contain this. What am I gonna do? Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round well, that's easy. Three. Begin. Yeah, this is Fabulous. just boring. Hey, Harry, aren't you glad you've learned from the likes of me? You've now completed the exercise. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You've learned Rick to Sempra. That was easy. You didn't do as well as I did the first time, but then who could? Now, how about a turn in the spell practice arena? Okay, challenge time. So this is how students actually learn their spells at Hogwarts. They throw, Welcome, they're thrown into deadly traps to, to complete the try to survive. You must find the completion star, which will be found at the top of this tower. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you will find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. Try and find them all. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Ready to begin? Good luck! Okay! Two, one, go! The first thing I want to do is want to topple this statue. What the hell? Firecrabs are nasty little pests that like to shoot hot flame out of... Uh, well, at you. You can stun mm -hmm. them by Out of their ass. separate on them. Then you can use Flipendo to push them around. My god, there's still more Lockhart statues everywhere. That a fire crab placed on or nearby the symbol will cause something to happen in the world, Harry. Try and use Flipendo to push the fire crab onto this plate. Okay. There you go. Uh, I don't actually want to step on this. I want to take my time to get up. Okay. <clears throat> this one is Herman Wintring. Wing tree. Um, I don't. I don't know if. Oh, the dude is still alive. Plays loot with the weird sisters. There is a timer up there, and that's a giant orange snail. Avoid touching them or their slime trails. The acid that they secrete will burn you. Harry, trust me. I know. Rick to Sempra will stun them. And then you can use Flipendo to push them around. Um, I mean, there is a timer up there, and usually in, in a video game where there's a timer, that means anxiety. But in this case, the, the, the timer is like really generous, so we're just gonna ignore it. Um, I did a fire crabs first because, you know, they, they actually attack you from afar, and the snail does not do that. 
So we're gonna handle the long range first. There we go. Okay, we're clear, but we're gonna get the stars. Nope, that's a little too far away, I suppose. So we're gonna have to do it their way. I wish he can pull. I wish he can pull stuff. This it's actually feels powerful and fun to cast spells in this game. Gnomes are a greedy lot. Oh, I know. They will try to steal your Bertie Bot's beans. Flipendo will push them onto <clears throat> their backs and cause them to drop anything they might have stolen. You can also pick up gnomes and throw them around. Throw them into a gnome hole to permanently get rid of them. That is a gnome hole. I know that. This is where gnomes come from and where they go to deposit stolen goods. Throw gnomes into these holes to permanently get rid of them. You cannot climb into them. Nor do I want to. Come on, little Nomi. Get in there. Yeah, that's satisfying. Whoa. I don't need the chocolate frog. We have Myron Wagtail, 1970, the present lead singer of Weird Sisters. We're gonna have a lot of Weird Sister members. Oh shit. It's a trap! But it's a lousy trap. Oh, you're still here. There we go. Get in there. I don't think it was actually necessary to deal with those nails. You can kind of ignore them and just move on, but... Why would I want to? Everything is smoother in this game, even the climbing. Get off here! Whoa! Hey! That's neat. <laughs> Gotta show the turtle who's boss. What do I have here? Um, I remember this. Let's go to the side doors first. Let's get the uh, a line. See, and on the left side, 
we have oh okay there's that we're gonna go back and open another one let's oh we only have to move once that's very convenient And we have a ton of beans, like, we already have 230 of them, wow, that's like way more than the first game. I guess the, the Hogwarts has, Fred and George may have caused some uh, inflation at Hogwarts. Let's go. Give me those beans! Really? Oh, this again. That's a bottomless pit. We don't want to end Harry Potter's story prematurely. So I guess for Hogwarts students, the consequence of not learning the spell immediately is, you know, die. Or if they're just not gymnastic enough. Gotta say, they they push physical education to a whole new ground. Uh, is there any is there any way I could dispose you guys? No. Okay, just hang around then. I haven't lost any health yet. Damn, I'm good. Yay! Uh, Martin Graves, another weird sister band member, he plays cello. Oh no, you guys again. You know, with me, we can harvest these turtles and. <laughs> the rubies on their back might be worth something. No. Give them. Get some money out of these challenges and give them to the Weasleys. Whoa. Oh, I got 10 bronze cards, that, so I get another life bar. That's cool. A lightning bar. Well, that's one spot for each Ninja Turtle. Oh, they were lowering it. What is that? How, how do I get to that? Hmm. Oh, I think I remember how to get to that. Actually, let me just try this.
Technically only needs four turtles, but what the hell, I'll give it a fifth one. Right. See that? That's... That's the key. And there's a lone beam here for some reason. Get over here, you. And a silver card. Um... Donegan Tremlet, nineties bass player with the Weird Sisters. Why does a bass player get to be a silver card? It... Yay! Oh, I got all ten of the challenge stars. I'm not gonna get a perfect score for every challenge, by the way. I played this game a bunch when I was a kid. That's why this this first challenge is particularly familiar to me, but I can't promise the same level of quality th in the future. Okay. There we go. The big one. Well done, Mr. Potter. You have completed my Rip to Sempra challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. And it will remain so because I would never be doing this again. <sighs> so that was the... We have... Uh, that was... I guess I'm just gonna call it the day. Uh, well, we've come back to Hogwarts despite Dobby's warning. We have started our second year. We heard a mysterious voice in the walls, but that was probably nothing. And now we have completed our first uh, challenge. Uh, we've learned that our first new spell from Gilderoy Lockhart, who seems to be a very competent teacher who is going to stay here for a very long time. And on that note, I'm going to end uh, this episode and uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm having a blast re-exploring re this game and I hope you, you're you having fun too. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. And thank you again.